Hello, brilliant jewelry community. Welcome to this new video. Today, I'm going to show the brand new Ring and Shanks Maker asset. So it's not a free asset, it's a fantastic asset. So today I'm going to show the content of the asset. So here we are in Blender 4.4. The asset is compatible with many versions of Blender. And obviously I will make the update for Blender 5 because I also use my assets. So when I update them for me, I update them for all my users. So let's have a look at all the customizable shapes we have in this asset. Hollow traditional tapper shank, rounded for a solitaire ring. And then we also have the solid version. This is a straight body for solitaire rings with the placement for the diamond setting. This is the split version, a very nice design. You can obviously customize the shape. And then we also have the reverse tapper. Then we have this one for high clusters, a reverse tapper, but with a higher body. Here at the center, you will have semi-precious gemstone with a halo of diamonds for this type of high body ring. Then we have the Euro style shank. It has some tapper. Then what do we have here? This is the half round with a slight tapper. It's different from the straight version, so it's faster to customize. So next we have um, the basic cathedral ring and also this one with a rectangular profile. Now let's get serious. This is the classic cathedral ring with the diamonds on the side. So obviously I will make the user guide tutorials on how to quickly customize these designs. And also this is the split body with the diamonds and the prongs and the cutters for the positions of the gems. Then what do we have here? The split with the rectangular profile and the deep cut for the placement of the gems. And this is the simpler straight version of the body with the diamonds and the deep cut for the diamonds. These are the engagement rings. Then we have the simple wedding bands shank, the white body half rounded, same, but hollow, typical for wedding bands. This one has the triangular profile. This one is solid. This is the smooth rectangular comfort fit. And then also this is the classical podium shank. Very nice model, thicker, comfort fit, rectangular, the half rounded, also thicker and the double rounded shank. These are all basic wedding rings, very easily customizable. Then we have, and the most famous Eternity Band with very nice cuts for the positions of the diamonds. Then we have some special shapes, the designer shapes, the bypass shank. We'll customize that pretty soon. And then we have the special twist with gems shank. So that was the quick overview of the wedding and the engagement rings that you can customize in this asset. And then we have all the signet rings shapes, hollow with a gallery. So this is the oval signet ring, the square signet ring, square with cut corners, the oval but horizontal, the very classic round signet ring, the rectangle horizontal, the marvelous marquis signet ring, the emerald signet ring, and the cartouche shape. That was a very traditional Egyptian shape. By example, front view, side view, top view, the perfect shape, local view of the ring. The signet rings are obviously hollow as they should. You can adapt the thickness in the solidify modifier. Now it's at 0.75 millimeters, pretty standard thickness. And if you go to edit mode, you'll see that the shape is based on a mirrored mesh to have a very optimized geometry, easy to edit and easy to adapt the shape. Then the finger size. Here we have all the finger size from size three to 14 with all the half sizes. And this size seven solid is the cutter used for the finger size Boolean of the ring. Now here at the middle, you might say that there's an error in the size, but this progression from seven and a half to size eight is perfectly verified. You can check that in all the tables for the finger size that you want. Um, then also, because sometimes it's necessary, you will find all the Bezier circles for all the finger size from size three to 14. Very practical when building the rings. Then here in the signet ring, we have the place for the engravings, names, dates, very classical. That element you can remove if you want here because it's a union Boolean from this element that's filling the position. And it's also cut at size seven and then add it to the ring using a union boolean. Now also, as you can see, for all the shapes of signet rings, we have a gallery. The gallery has a thickness of 0.8 millimeters. 
a bit thicker than the body of the ring and the gallery is adapted to the finger using a band modifier. Then each shape of signet ring has a special cutter to perfectly cut the shape of the gallery to the shape of the ring. If you don't need the gallery, you can simply hide it and keep the hollow signet ring without the gallery. Then we can bring up the camera and the lights. The asset comes with a very nice jewelry studio HDR to make the renders, so you can perfectly render the rings here by example in yellow gold. You will also find white gold and rose gold. Then after the renders, obviously we'll have to test the STL exportation. So let's select our elements, the body and the gallery, file export STL, selection only, oval signet STL test. Now I'm going to go to file, import, STL. The weight of the STL is under 100 megabytes, so that's really good. Let's import it nonetheless, local view of the STL. Here anyway, I will recommend you to generate a remesh modifier. A voxel size of 0.03 generally works. It depends the size of the jewel. I'm going to apply the remesh modifier. Then I'm going to add a decimate modifier. So obviously after the remesh, the face count is generally of several millions. I'm going to bring this down to 20%. Remember the ratio starts at one, that's 100%. So if I go at 0.2, it will be a 20% or as good that Blender can reduce the geometry. Great, now my face count is under 1 million so I can go and I don't even have to apply the decimate modifier just go to file export STL and I'm going to overwrite my previous STL now let's go to any STL doctor I'm using netfab by example project open and I'm going to import my oval signet ring STL here and thanks to the process that I did of remeshing and decimating the ring the STL is already perfectly repaired and I have the volume of my STL at 0.72 cubical centimeters. So now 0.72 multiplied per 14 grams per cubical centimeter gives us a weight of 10 grams in 14 karat gold for a size 7 oval signet ring. That's really good. And obviously in the asset you will be able to adapt the size, the thickness of all the aspects of the ring that you will need. I hope that jewelers and jewelry designers will start enjoying this asset. It has many capabilities to achieve the most impressive designs, make the renders and manufacture the jewels. And I will show that through the user guide tutorials. And also I will keep upgrading this asset. Also, it's important to know that this asset has a sister asset, the gem setting maker asset. I sell them separately because each jeweler has different needs. You can find them on Superhive Blender Market. I hope you have a nice day, take care and see you soon.